We are back and so is HTC. Well, most people did predict that this is over. HTC is a super premium maker at one time. There used to be only three names that people used to take when a premium phone was launched. It was either Apple or Samsung or HTC. And HTC used to be right up there. But things didn't go the way they should have with this company. It's a very innovative company, great R&D, fantastic features. But they are not over. That's the good news. I think HTC not going out of the market, not shutting their gates, I think is a great piece of news. But they haven't come up with a premium phone right now. Maybe one day they will. This is the HTC Wildfire X. Let's take a look. But the main reason we are doing this was also because of the kind of processor that they've chosen. This is a MediaTek Helio P22. And we believe that in this kind of a phone at this price point, there literally can be no better processor. So this is a dual story. We look at the phone, but we'll also look at the Helio P22. Why is it this has become the favorite for so many brands? HTC has made a comeback with Wildfire. Well, that's not so much a pun, but it is actually the name, the HTC Wildfire X. HTC has priced this phone at 10,999 rupees for the 3 GB RAM variant, and it comes with a 6.3 inch HD plus screen with a water drop notch. HTC also bundles a My Buddy security feature with the phone, which can track a user's location, record, and even transmit videos of the surroundings. But the big X factor in this phone is the 12 nanometer MediaTek Helio P22 chipset that the phone packs in. Most features of the HTC Wildfire X are enhanced thanks to this chipset. This is the same processor as seen on the Redmi 6 that came in under 10K. The P22 is a 2 GHz octa-core processor. It supports a sharp HD plus screen without compromising on power. The performance of the phone is very smooth. We found no lag at all even while using several apps around the same time. MediaTek's core pilot technology provides power-aware scheduling that matches performance with power efficiency. The phone has a 3300 mAh battery which goes the last mile thanks to this technology by MediaTek. There is a triple camera setup on the back with a 12 megapixel primary lens and 5 megapixel and 8 megapixel cameras. The P22 chipset allows for this along with a new hardware depth engine. The bokeh supported on the P22 is impressive. There's even a separate mode for it in the camera. The 2x optical zoom gave us some good shots as well without any loss in detail. The HTC Wildfire X also managed low light shots very well. There's a multi-frame noise reduction which reduces noise to a minimum. There's an 8 megapixel front camera for selfies. MediaTek's electronic image stabilization has been upgraded with a new rolling shutter compensation engine which allows for no warped edges or frames while shooting an action video or simply panning in a video. There are AI enhancements in this chipset as well that allow for AI face unlock which worked seamlessly. AI is there in the smart album also which can sort out images. The MediaTek Helio P22 has rich connectivity with dual 4G SIM support and Bluetooth 5 for smart home devices. Taiwanese company HTC sure is back after a whole year and at 10,999 rupees, the HTC Wildfire X certainly makes a strong comeback with a very capable chipset at the helm of things.